Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on types of graphs in data structures course and discrete mathematics course. Okay, it is one of the most important concept in campus interviews point of view and also competitive examinations point of view. Okay. So there are uh, several number of types of graphs are there. Okay. These several number of types of graphs are exist based on the number of vertices, number of edges, interconnectivity of vertices and edges and overall structure based on these factors. So there are several number of types of graphs are there. Some of the commonly used graphs are first one is complete graph. Okay. So what is complete graph? Okay. A simple graph G is said to be complete graph if there is a single edge between each and every pair of distinct vertices. Okay. Overall, every vertex in the graph is connected with the every other vertices in the graph. Okay. So, these are the two commonly used definitions for complete graph. Okay. Now, I am explaining with uh, one example. So, this is one complete graph. This graph consists of four vertices, vertex 1, vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 4. Okay. Vertex 1 is connected with the remaining vertices in the graph. What are the remaining vertices in the graph? 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now, 1 is connected directly with the vertex 2, 1 is connected with the 3 directly, 1 is connected with the 4 directly. Every vertex in the graph is connected with the remaining vertices in the given graph. I am taking now vertex 2. Okay. Vertex 2 is connected with the remaining vertices in the graph. 2 is connected with 1. 2 is connected with 4. 2 is connected with 3. Okay. So, in the same way, I am taking vertex 3. Okay. So, 3 is connected with the remaining vertices in the graph. 3 is connected with 2. 3 is connected with 1. 3 is connected with the 4. Okay. Every vertex in the given graph is connected with the remaining vertices in the given graph. So, then that type of graph is called as complete graph. Okay. So, to become a graph is complete graph. The graph must be a simple graph. Simple graph means a graph does not contain any self loops and parallel edges. Okay. Vertex 1 does not contain any self loop. Vertex 2 does not contain any self loop. Vertex 3 does not contain any self loop. Vertex 4 does not contain any self loop. Okay. So, there are no parallel edges between 1 and 2. There are no parallel edges between 2 and 3. There are no parallel edges between 3 and 4. There are no parallel edges between 1 and 4. There are no parallel edges between 2 and 4. There are no parallel edges between 1 and 3. So, what is parallel edges? Two vertices are connected by using more than one edge. Then, that uh, two vertices contains the parallel edges. Okay. Next one. Consider this one. Okay. So, here we are considering vertex 1. Okay. Vertex 1 is connected with the remaining vertices. 1 is connected with 2. 1 is connected with 3. Okay. Now, consider vertex 2. 2 is connected with 1. 2 is connected with 3. Now, consider vertex 3. 3 is connected with the vertex 1. 3 is connected with the vertex 2. Okay. Every vertex in the graph is connected with the remaining vertices in the given graph. Then 
that type of graph is called as complete graph a complete graph must be a simple graph okay now consider this one so it contains only two vertices okay one is connected with the remaining vertex that is two next two is connected with the remaining vertex of one okay now it contains only a single vertex okay a complete graph with n vertices is denoted by k suffix n a complete graph with n vertices is denoted by k suffix n where n is the number of vertices okay suppose if n is equal to 1 so that is a k1 a complete graph with one vertex that is a k1 okay so k1 means a complete graph with one vertex okay next one k2 means a complete graph with two vertices k3 means a complete graph with three vertices k4 means a complete graph with four vertices this is k5 a complete graph with five vertices this is a k6 a complete graph with the six vertices okay in a complete graph we can take any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are connected by one direct edge okay so that type of graph is called as complete graph okay next one uh, in complete graph how many number of edges are possible that is n into n minus 1 by 2 number of edges are possible for example how many number of edges are possible in k4 so that is n value is equal to 4 k4 means n value is equal to 4 substitute 4 in the place of n 4 into 3 by 2 so that is the 6 edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 edges are there how many number of edges are present in k3 okay so k3 means n is equal to 3 substitute n value 3 into 3 minus 1 by 2 that is a 3 so 3 edges are there 1 2 2 2 2 3 and 1 2 3 okay how many number of edges are there in k5 k5 means n is equal to 5 substitute n value 5 in this one 5 into 4 by 2 okay so that is a 10 edges are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 edges are there okay so this is the description about the complete graph okay so a complete graph a graph is said to be complete graph first of all it is a simple graph it does not contain any self loops and does not contain any parallel edges okay every vertex in the given graph is connected with the remaining vertices in the same graph so then that type of graph is called as complete graph okay next one another definition we can take any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are connected by using one edge so that type of graph is also called as complete graph so pair of vertices means pair of distinct vertices that is pair of different vertices are connected by using one edge so that type of graph is also called as complete graph next one a complete graph with the n vertices is denoted by k suffix n okay so the number of edges present in the complete graph is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2 where n is the number of vertices in the given graph okay now we go for a regular graph okay what is regular graph okay so before going to the regular graph okay first i am explaining the example after that we can go to the definition okay so now so the observe this graph so this graph is k3 graph because it contains three vertices okay every vertex is connected with the remaining vertices in the given graph okay so what is the degree of each and every vertex degree of vertex 1 is nothing but 2 
So degree of a particular vertex means how many number of edges incident on that vertex. Okay, so vertex 1 is incident on two edges. So the degree of vertex 1 is 2. Okay, how many number of edges incident on vertex 2? Two? two edges are incident on vertex 2. So the degree of vertex 2 is also 2. Next one, how many, what is the degree of vertex 3? Okay, so two edges incident on vertex 3. So hence degree of vertex 3 is also 2. Okay, degree of 1 is 2, degree of 2 is also 2, degree of 3 is also 2. Okay, so a graph in which all the vertices have equal degree, then that type of graph is called as regular graph. Okay, degree of vertex 1 is 2, degree of vertex 2 is also 2, degree of vertex 3 is also 3. All the vertices have equal degree, so then that type of graph is called as a regular graph. Okay, now consider this one. Okay, this is a K6. It contains six vertices A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, every vertex has the degree 3. Sorry, every vertex has the degree 5. Okay, so five edges are incident on vertex A. Five edges are incident on vertex B. Five edges are incident on vertex C. 5 edges are incident on vertex D, 5 edges are incident on vertex E, 5 edges are incident on vertex F. Hence, we can say that degree of each and every vertex in K6 is equal to 5. Because every vertex is connected with the remaining vertices in the given graph, now consider vertex A. What are the remaining vertices? B, C, D, E, F. So A is connected with B. A is connected with C. A is connected with D. A is connected with E. A is connected with F. So degree of each and every vertex is 5. Okay. Now, now consider this complete graph. This is a K5. It consists of 5 vertices. Okay, so every vertex is connected with the remaining vertices in the given graph. Now, consider vertex P. Okay, what are the remaining vertices? Q, R, S, T. Okay, now P is connected with Q, P is connected with R, P is connected with S, P is connected with T. Okay, now consider S. Yes. Okay, what are the remaining vertices? T, Q, P, R. Now, S is connected with the T, S is connected with the Q, S is connected with the R, S is connected with the P. Okay, so now uh, this is the complete graph with 5 vertices that is a K5. Degree of each and every vertex is 4 because 4 edges are incident on vertex P, 4 edges are incident on vertex Q, 4 edges are incident on vertex R, 4 edges are incident on vertex S, 4 edges are incident on vertex T. Okay, so a graph in which all the vertices have degree 4, so hence we can say that this is a regular graph. Okay, now we can go for the definition. A graph in which all the vertices in the given graph has equal degree. So then it is called as a regular graph. Okay. So if the graph is a uh, regular graph, degree of each and every vertex in the regular graph is R, then it becomes a R regular graph. Okay. So for example, this is called as a 4 regular graph because each and every vertex in the given graph has the degree 4. And this is a 5 regular graph. That means a graph in which every vertex has the degree 5. Okay, so this is called as a 2 regular graph. Because a graph in which every vertex has the degree 2. Okay, so this is the definition of the regular graph. Suppose we can take a null graph. Okay, so in the null graph, 
degree of each and every vertex is a zero. So then we can say that it is a zero regular graph. Okay. So uh, what is the degree of each and every vertex here in K6? Degree of each and every vertex is five. In a K5, degree of each and every vertex is four. In K3, degree of each and every vertex is uh, two. Because here it is K3, degree of each and every vertex is 2. Here K6, degree of each and every vertex is 5. It is a K5, degree of each and every vertex is 4. Okay, a complete graph with the n vertices, each and every vertex has the degree n minus 1. Here this is K6, degree of each and every vertex is 6 minus 1, that is 5. So this is K5. Degree of each and every vertex is 5 minus 1, that is n minus 1, that is 4. This is K3, that is n is equal to 3. Degree of each and every vertex 3 minus 1, that is a 2. Okay, so a complete graph KN is a regular graph of degree n minus 1. Okay, so degree of each and every vertex is n minus 1 if it is a complete graph with n vertices. Okay.